Greetings. I am the Bat Computer, but you may call me Penny One. And I have been authorized to recruit you as members of the Night Watch, my new program to help Batman stop crime in Gotham City. Now, as you know, Batman has access to some of the latest and most advanced technology to assist him in his crime-fighting endeavors. But when it comes to fighting crime, knowing is half the battle. That is why, as part of the Night Watch, you will need to know everything about his gadgets and the gadgets of his enemies. So today, we will be familiarizing ourselves with Mr. Freeze's bone-chilling freeze technology, so that Batman, or any members of the Night Watch, do not end up on thin ice next time they face him. Most supervillains like wearing flashy suits to reflect their eccentric personalities. But Mr. Freeze needs his suit simply to survive. Before he was Mr. Freeze, he was Dr. Victor Freeze, a scientist desperate to cure his terminally ill wife. He ended up being exposed to the cryogenic chemicals he was experimenting with, which drastically lowered his body temperature to sub-zero levels and forced him to wear a cryogenic suit from then on. This means that Mr. Freeze's suit is completely insulated, trapping all the cool air in and keeping all the warm air out. But how does the air inside stay cool? With this backpack here, the pack contains a portable condenser which pumps a chemical coolant throughout the suit at all times. Inside the backpack is a backup system which automatically injects a natural coolant into Mr. Freeze's body whenever he removes the suit. This allows him to survive without the pack, but only for a limited amount of time. If I were Batman and I were looking for a weak spot to exploit, this backpack would make an excellent target. But be wary! The entire helmet on Mr. Freeze's suit is made of nearly shatterproof glass, providing him with complete 360-degree visibility, which makes it difficult for his adversaries to perform sneak attacks. This helmet is also UV-proof, blocking the sun's ultraviolet light and preventing high temperatures inside the glass. Also attached to this helmet is a microphone, which allows Mr. Freeze to speak through the suit, and a dehumidifier which prevents the glass from fogging up when he breathes. If he were not a supervillain, I would say this is a pretty cool piece of tech. As members of the Night Watch, it is important to know that the biggest threat Mr. Freeze poses is his Freeze Blaster. This weapon fires a dangerous coolant that instantly freezes anything it touches. Mr. Freeze can manipulate the intensity and duration of these blasts using a dial on the side of the contraption. So now that we know the ins and outs of Mr. Freeze's terrible technology, how is Batman to defend himself against it? Fortunately, Batman has several lines of defense against the Freeze Blaster. First, Batman's cape acts as a shield against the stream of coolant. If he cannot cover himself in time, however, Batman's thermal armor, assuming it is equipped, will protect him. If all else fails, Batman has an anti-freeze chamber in the Batcave, specifically for reversing the cold-hearted effects of Mr. Freeze's frozen fury. At the end of the day, however, bravery is the strongest antifreeze. Whether he freezes you in ice or freezes you in fear, Mr. Freeze can be a truly terrifying foe. But if you follow Batman's example of determination and never give up, supervillains do not stand a chance. You may log back in any time for more Bat Computer archives to learn about the latest Bat Tech. As a reminder, you can always find more Batman content here on the DC Kids channel. All animated episodes featured in these archives are available for digital download with Warner Home Entertainment.